Hello and welcome to this week's Type 1 Thursday. I am so happy that you're here because today I have a new and improved, no, but new question at least to answer from the audience, which I'm super happy about. Seriously, if you have any questions that you think I could answer on these things, then please do let me know. Send me a message somewhere on the, on the interwebs and I will be happy to maybe answer your question on the next or an upcoming Type 1 Thursday. <laughs> anyway, this week's question comes from Joe. And Joe writes, how do low blood sugars affect weight loss? Thank you, Joe, for the question. And uh, actually, it a lot of it depends on if you are uh, taking external insulin or not, um, because Basically, weight loss happens when A, the blood sugar is stable and B, there's no excess insulin in the body. And there are, of course, different theories of weight loss. Uh, there are two main ones, as I see it, which I've talked about uh, before here on Type 1 Thursday. But basically, one of them is the good old calories in, calories out, which we know is maybe not as applicable as um, maybe they thought that it was. But the other one is that it is actually um, uh, hormone regulated. So with mainly with insulin as a, is the master hormone for the body. So basically, if you don't have excess insulin and your blood sugars are therefore uh, stable, weight loss will occur. Of course, you can as uh, which is a very, very serious uh, eating disorder, actually in di diabulimia of course when you take no insulin you will also lose weight but that is not the point of this this is healthy happy weight loss if that is necessary this is not a eating disorder thing at all uh, at least not what i'm talking about so just to clarify that and uh, i find that very important because it is a terrible terrible condition to live with so none of that just healthy healing happy uh, weight loss if necessary Anyway, and so basically, if uh, weight loss happens when you have stable blood sugars and there's not enough, uh, there's no excess insulin, then basically, could you say that uh, a low, actually, this is because there's a low, that means that you took too much insulin, right? For that particular um, circumstance, for that particular food, for that particular mood for that particular weather whatever it is that is influencing your blood sugar you took too much insulin for that and that's why you've ended up in a low basically because nothing else lowers blood sugar like insulin does and nothing else can lower blood sugar lower than it should be in a normal human being than insulin so that's the whole uh, key with that so basically if you are treating your diabetes with insulin does that mean lows are equal to excess insulin, which means that it would be a slower weight loss? Well, actually not necessarily. It depends on sort of how stable your blood sugars are. So if they are jumping like this, so they're super high and then go super low, and then you have to treat it and then go super high and super low again, that's a completely different thing than if you're really stable and then sometimes it sort of trends downwards and dips and then goes, you can correct it very easily. Um, to go up again. That's a completely different thing than if uh, you are all over the place in terms of blood sugar and uh, are struggling with that. What I'm trying to say is that balanced blood sugar is the key, not a jumpy one. A non-jumpy blood sugar, that's what we should aim for and that usually um, also aids weight loss. You know, we all end up there no matter how good or whatever we are as uh, people with diabetes, no matter how well we take care of ourselves. Circumstances do change in the body and lows do happen. They happen to me, they happen to everyone I know who are normally quite well controlled, but lows do happen uh, or hypos. And the key here is how do you treat it? Do you choose to eat the whole kitchen? So you grab anything from uh, grapes to uh, peanut butter to uh, that sugary candy you have in the back somewhere to snacks, to yogurt, to honey, to, you know, the whole nine yards, which will end you up on this roller coaster 
blood sugar ride, which is uh, quite detrimental for your health. And it feels, first and foremost, it really, really feels freaking terrible. So try to avoid it for that reason alone. <laughs> or number two, do you treat uh, low blood sugars targeted with an exact gram of glucose? Because that, um, of course, doesn't create these roller coaster rides. It creates this, like, even if you do dip a little bit, you take a gram or two grams or three grams or four grams, depending on how much you need. And that you need to do a little trial and error to find out. But then you just come up a little bit again and then you're fine again. You don't get those big swings. So that is really important how you treat the low when it does happen. Correcting a low is, of course, necessary. It can, it definitely can save your life and definitely does save your life. So don't skip it, even if it would potentially kick you out of ketosis, if that is your goal. I'm not saying that ketosis and keto and low carb is everyone's goal, but if that is what you're worried about in this question that uh, treating a hypo will kick you out of ketosis or something, don't be, because you really need to save your own life there. And it doesn't matter if you get kicked out of ketosis or not. If you are fat fueled in that way, um, or you know that you're flexitarian and <laughs> they can burn both fat and sugar, you will get back into ketosis very, very fast afterwards. So don't worry about it. Here it really is uh, key that you do take care of this. So the short version of my answer to your question, Joe, is low blood sugars do not have to affect weight loss at all. It depends on how you treat the low and depends on how stable your blood glucose is normally and that you don't have excess insulin in your body. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, do let me know. And also do let me know your experiences of blood sugars and weight loss. Have you ever tried to lose weight in a healthy way? We're not talking di diabolemia here because uh, that's a completely different chapter and there are other people who are a lot better at that than me. But have you uh, managed to lose weight or maybe you don't manage to lose weight although your blood sugar is uh, so as good as perfect please let me know in a comment and i'll be happy to chat with you there until next week <laughs>